And I, I enjoyed it growing up, and I always wanted to be a stand-up, and uh, yeah, I just always wanted to do it. Yeah, I, uh, same, really. I dug stand-up. It was uh, it was a thing I thought would be fun to do, and then uh, I, went to, I went to the first album my, my buddy was hosting, and I felt like a dick, because I was like, I think I might be funnier than at least the crazy homeless people here. Like, not all of them, but at least some of them. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I did it one time, ate shit, and I just kept doing it forever. Uh, it's terrifying. It's the most scared I've ever been in my life, which is weird because I've always been like something I can talk to people. I'm not like weird about that, but getting on stage, I'm just like, oh shit, I'm gonna pee my pants and die. I was probably the most confident I ever was going on stage for my first time. <laughs> I got to do it at a, uh, a talent, a Buddhist talent show in front of 300 people <laughs> when I was 14, and then it's been all downhill from there. So yeah, it's been it's been uh, but yeah, it was it was it was exciting. It was thrilling. I really like uh, uh, Stanhope's Beer Hall Butch is probably my favorite. It's probably the one I've listened to the most. Uh, Werewolves and Lollipops by Patton Oswalt might be my favorite uh, stand-up album of all time. And uh, as far as specials, I mean, all the Mulaney shit is great. Yeah. Uh, uh, the Bo Burnham stuff, I think, is really good and really kind of underappreciated by stand-ups because he does such a weird, like, kind of left-to-center thing. But I think what he's doing is really interesting. I think that's... The, every time I see one of his things, I'm like, oh, that's pushing the limit of what we can do with stand-up. And I think that's really cool. I still watch SNL. I, uh, I I know people shit on it, but I still watch it every week. I, still, I think it's actually better than people give it credit for. Right now. The cast is really good. Uh, as far as uh, 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 the whitest kid you know, I think it's uh, maybe the best sketch show ever made because it's insane. That might be the closest thing to like our sense of like I've never it, watched it. The Mean Boys sketch sensibility. I'll show you some shit. Okay. It's uh, it's very on brand with what we do. Uh, as far as movies, God, I mean, uh, Shaun of the Dead is my favorite like uh, comedy film of all time. Probably. I think it's a perfect movie to the bottom. So, you know, I mean, I love The Simpsons. I love uh, King of the Hill, I think, is uh, the most underrated. That's my favorite. Chappelle Show is probably my favorite sketch show. Uh, I don't really watch many comedy movies. Probably The Four Year Old Virgin was my favorite one. South, South Park is that comedy? Yeah, it counts. Yeah, South Park. I have no idea. Uh, my favorite joke a comic has ever written. Fuck, that's really hard. I uh, I know it's a different special, but the Patton Oswalt Black Angus bit uh, might be my favorite. You've heard that bit, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's the fun, just the sheer lunacy of how high he escalates that. But Black Angus, doors locked from the outside, faggot, is the hardest I've laughed in my life. Yeah. I mean, this guy right here. Oh. This, this loaf of madness. <laughs> the look, 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 look at him. 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 Yeah, I don't know. Somebody who can afford to fucking fly. <laughs> it's because we were two hours late in the goddamn van. Yeah. <laughs> This guy, five times. <laughs> I've already this, done it twice. This loaf of madness. Three more <laughs> like, times and we're a fight. I, I roast you literally once a week for... <laughs> they don't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fucking uh, Price Geraldo is one through five. That's the guy. Yeah. Him him four times, I want, I want to get roasted by Seinfeld. I want to see what he can bring I would love up. to see a Seinfeld I would love to see it. I would love to see it. Tom is a gay lord! Boop, boop, boop. I've done a lot of like uh, writing for like TV stuff. Like uh, I've written for the Comedy Central roast. I've written some uh, little sketch shit and just stuff here and there. I, w I would love to do more of that. I would love to do more writing. Uh, as far as acting, I hate acting. I, I like acting, but I never get asked to do anything except for like be the fat guy eating a Snickers bar. You know what I mean? Great at it. Yeah, I'm great at eating Snickers. Yeah, but uh, I would love to do. I mean, honestly, I'm I'm not like sort of a slave to one side or the other. I kind of want to just do anything that seems like it might be cool. That's sort of where I land on it. I just like stand-up. I'm fine if I just do stand-up or, you know, if someone, basically if someone yeah. gives me a job, I'll take the job, and if not, I'm going to be doing stand-up. Bigger house. Yeah, honestly, the, no, this is awesome. No, this is awesome. Yeah, we do a lot. I mean, you know, we don't really work 
clubs that much. We, I mean, we do stuff here and there, and like one nighters, but like we love doing stuff like this, like house shows, weird little like small like kind of punk rock bars and shit. And I hope we can just kind of grow that to the point where we can keep doing it until uh, until we're dead. Yeah, <laughs> this is all I know. The goal do. is death. And if you take one thing away from this interview, let it be that. Yeah, death is a sweet release. Make that gift. I'm on uh, all the social media. I'm at Keith Tells Jokes. And uh, listen to the Mean Boys podcast with me, Tom, and our buddy Connor McSpadden. Yeah. He's currently dying of some sort of Tennessee herpes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, on iTunes, Stitcher, we're on the uh, Starburns Audio Network. Yeah, that's the website, meanboyspodcast.com. Uh, and then you can find me at uh, GossGoss6, all things, Instagram, Twitter. And yeah, follow me there. I think the biggest thing, you know, obviously you want to make people laugh, you want to make people's night a little better. I think my thing is if I can make somebody feel a little less, uh, a little less like alone in some shit, whether it's some shit they felt or some shit they dealt with or anything like that, just making people feel like they're connected to, you know, another human being and maybe the other people in that room. I think that's what's cool about stand-up is yeah. that it is a communal art form when so much of what we intake media-wise now is like solitary. It's an right, iPhone right. with headphones in so some sense of kind of community and like bonding with someone and kind of like you know not feeling quite as isolated that's that's yeah. the biggest thing to me i want people to feel isolated at <laughs> <laughs> you know if they could just really feel fear me <laughs> i've done my job so i wanted to have, you know let be like ah that's funny hi i'm connor mcspadden check out my interview on acutiepie.com uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Tom Goss, and check out my interview at cutiepie.com.